Good morning, students. Today we are going to take up the cycle of seasons of India. Though India has got four seasons, but we are going to take up today the cold weather season and the hot weather season. The cold weather season commences in November and continues till March. It is characterized by clear sky, pleasant weather, a low temperature and humidity, cool and slow northern winds are its most important features. The northern two-third of the country has a mean temperature below 21 degree centigrade. January is the coldest month when the temperature in the Ganga plain varies between 12.5 to 17.5 degree centigrade. The southern one-third has rather warm condition and does not have a distinctly defined winter season. The isotherm of 20 degree centigrade runs in an east-west direction roughly parallel to the Tropic of Cancer and divides India climatically into the northern and southern parts. To the south of this isotherm, the temperature always remains above 21 degrees centigrade and in the extreme south, above 25 degree centigrade. Here, during this time, we have a high pressure and this high pressure is very prominent in the northwestern part of the country. The winds blow from the land towards the sea in this direction. As the temperature in the northern plains is low, so a high pressure prevails over here, especially in the Indo-Gangetic plain and parts of the northwestern parts of India. The wind starts blowing from the high pressure over here towards the low pressure towards the southeast. So the northeast trade winds prevail over the country during this time. They blow from land to sea over most of the country and do not cause much rainfall. The fine weather conditions which prevail during this season sometimes get disturbed by shallow cyclonic depressions which are known as western disturbances. They originate in the Mediterranean Sea and travel eastwards across West Asia.
they pass through areas like iran pakistan before they reach the north western part of the country on that way they gather moisture and get augmented over the caspian sea the persian gulf and reach the southern part of the southern part of the gangetic plain now these western disturbances cause in their way light rainfall although the amount is very meager but the rainfall is of great benefit to the rubby crops which grow in this part of india especially wheat during this time a lot of snow fall occurs and they help the flow of water to continue in the himalayan rivers during the summer the precipitation goes on decreasing from west to east in the plains and from north to south now during the winter season the winds blow from land to sea so you can see over here the winds are blowing from land to sea so they do not bring much rainfall however when these winds they blow over the bay of bengal they cause winter rainfall in the eastern part of tamil nadu southeastern part of karnatak and southeastern part of kerala because while they cross west the bay of bengal they pick up a lot of moisture and drop them on their way in these parts of southern india thereafter the rainfall gradually decreases except for some parts of the north eastern part of kerala which gets a rainfall the western disturbances which occur in the mediterranean cause rainfall and it decreases from the west to the east the average rainfall during these months is about 60 cm with punjab getting the maximum delhi gets about 5.3 cm and uttar pradesh and bihar gets 1.8 to 2.5 cm respectively next we have the hot weather season the hot weather season in india begins in march and ends in may now this is a period of rising temperature and falling air pressure there is a steady increase in temperature from south to north with the highest temperature in the interior parts of the country temperature normally begins to rise in march and all these areas of the deccan plateau experiences an average temperature of about 
38 to 40 degree centigrade. This heat belt moves further north to Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh and the average temperature can be well above 42 to 43 degree centigrade. The summer season is pretty intense in India. The affluent usually make a head headway to the hill stations, while the not so wealthy get solace under the trees. Summer is a time when cool beverages satisfy us and the fields are swaying with rich yellow flowers. As almost the whole country has a high temperature, a low pressure begins to take form in the northwestern part of India and it becomes very intense and well developed over here. The surrounding seas are cooler. So, a high pressure prevails over the seas. The trade winds which blow in the southern hemisphere gets attracted towards the mainland because of this intense low pressure which has formed in the interior parts of the continent that is central India and also Another very intense low pressure gets formed in the northwestern part of India. This marks the end of the summer season and the southwest monsoon set in the month of June. So, this is how the season changes from winter to summer. In the later part of the chapter, we will be learning in detail about the rainy season and also the monsoon, which is one of the most important part of the country of India. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.